How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. The following scary images are leaving people on edge. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content. Just like this. Sometimes pictures are interesting all in themselves just at first glance. But when met with a second look, they can become even more intriguing and even scary. That's exactly the case with a photo uploaded to Facebook by Onan Dub. In the photo, we see a group of people consisting of three police officers and two men. One is presumably being arrested, as his hands are being held back by one of the police officers. Another man stands in the background on the far right, arms crossed and looking at the arrested man. Upon closer inspection at the man, we can see a hand resting on his left shoulder but no one is standing next to him. The hand seems to grip the man's shoulder without his knowledge. Many viewers of the photo were left puzzled and freaked out, not able to provide an explanation for what they saw. Others, however, saw a lighter side, with some even joking it could be the hand from the Adams family making a surprise appearance. There were a couple more serious suggestions, however, with some theorizing that a very short person could be behind the man stretching an arm out. Though others disputed this, saying that the individual would need to have a very long arm in order to reach the man's shoulder without being seen. Also, it could just be a case of some clever photoshopping. But what do you think's happening here? Let us know in the comments section below. For many people worldwide, Airbnbs provide a great option for cheaper accommodation. In addition, there's something comforting about staying in a home, as compared to an anonymous hotel room. And there's always a chance to befriend the host and get to know all about the location from a local. At the same time, a simple search of Airbnb horror stories is enough to kill a long night, with stories of eerie hosts and horrible guests alike causing trouble and chaos. One Reddit user, Retro21, found something truly terrifying while searching for an Airbnb in London. The Reddit user uploaded two photos of the listing. In the first photo, viewers see a large photograph that sits on the wall at the bottom of a staircase. In the photo is a young boy laying underwater, his face painted in the design of a clown. His eyes are shut. The second photo hangs above a dining room table. In this photo, viewers can see three children sitting at a table, their faces painted with heavy, dark makeup similar to the child in the first photo. They look directly at the viewer, glasses of wine and some type of meat sitting in front of them. Their gaze is strong and unnerving. Spookily and perhaps fortunately, the Airbnb is no longer listed on the site. The unsettling makeup of the children, as well as their facial expressions, is certainly enough to give any potential guest the chills. Whether the host had a strange taste in art or a darker side on him or her is unknown. In the end, this is one Airbnb that probably was a horror story waiting to happen. From time to time, we find photos that still give us goosebumps even after years and years of having them in our possession. One Reddit user, Thorson22, found himself getting chills after looking at a photo seven years after having it given to him by a friend. In the photo, we see the exterior of a house at night time, its lights shining brightly in contrast to the dark outside. When we zoom in directly to the middle of the photo, we can see what has spooked out a lot of viewers. A creepy white face poking out from one of the banisters of the porch, looking directly at the photographer. Numerous Reddit users didn't see the face initially, but when they did, the reaction was unanimous, pure terror. The suggestions as to what this was varied, with some believing it to be either a ghost or demon, some were a little more skeptical, however, believing it to simply be another person sitting on the porch, who happened to be looking out at the photographer just as the photo was taken. 
As the friend of the Reddit user was drunk at the time the photo was taken, we may never get a clear answer as to what's being captured. Craigslist is a mostly harmless place, most of the time. A choice website to buy and sell goods or find work gigs. Even so, sometimes a disturbing ad will show up from time to time, scaring the users who come across it. Twitter user at the Gen Life managed to find one particularly strange ad that had the internet buzzing. The Twitter post contains four images of the freaky Craigslist ad. The first photo shows an RV with a headline above it saying, Coachella VIP weekend, one pass, free to the right person. The next three images show all the demands the Craigslist user has for the potential Coachella trip partner. The user, Gordy, explains he recently quit his job, divorced his wife and is now ready to have a life of fun. He then lists 20 demands the potential partner must meet with strict restrictions that the partner must be a female between the ages of 19 and 25. The female must look the part of a Coachella goer, with the stereotypical dress, makeup and accessories one associates with the event. These include ripped jeans, a headband and colourful bracelets to match. Additionally, the female must participate in typical romantic behaviours, such as sitting on the man's shoulder to see the concert better, holding his hand, making prolonged eye contact and saying affectionate phrases. She must also take care of her body. The poster emphasises that the travel partner must keep their hands and feet moisturised at all times. The poster says he'll bring beef jerky and peanut butter sandwiches as snacks. The applicant must let the man brush their hair at least once per day. All additional grooming, like toenail clipping, must be done in the poster's presence. Furthermore, she'll need to upload at least four pictures of the two together on Instagram and limit her interaction with other males at the festival. Lastly, she must have an open mind and be willing to have fun. This Craigslist ad immediately raised red flags for most who saw it. Some were more open about a few of the demands but agreed there were far too many. Fortunately, the ad was flagged and taken down so no other Craigslist users fell victim to the possibly dangerous situation, one that made many people think of Silence of the Lambs. Online photos can often be polarising for those who see them, particularly when it comes to those that supposedly show abnormal sights. There often comes a large debate that has internet users arguing back and forth endlessly about what they see. Facebook user Lisa Wally Staggs shared one instance of this with a photo she took of a supposedly abandoned hospital in New Orleans. The hospital in question, Charity Hospital, has been closed since it was hit by Hurricane Katrina in 2005, or at least it's supposed to be. In the photo, we see Charity Hospital at nighttime a huge, imposing building with mostly dark windows. In the right of the photo, we can make out what seems to be a bright purplish light. The Facebook user zoomed in on the picture so users can get a better look. Now we can see what seems to be some kind of glowing figure sitting at one of the windows. The original Facebook user believes that the ambiguous shape is actually a Christmas tree, as this photo was taken around Christmas time, giving her a somewhat heartwarming feeling. While the possibility of the shape simply being a Christmas tree is a positive one, it would imply that someone's living in the building, a scary thought in and of itself. Other Facebook users suggested that the figure could actually be the ghost of a victim of Hurricane Katrina making an appearance, an eerie reminder of the disaster that claimed the lives of so many. Others were outright terrified, believing it to be some other kind of phantom or supernatural being that is now haunting the building and all those who try to visit it. Give the photo another look and judge for yourself then let us know what you think in the comments section below. Photographer Seth Peebler captured something eerie on camera that would go on to send the internet into a flurry. 
Taken at 4th Street Bridge in Los Angeles and uploaded to Reddit soon after, the image showcases something that has sparked theories that range from ghosts to mannequins. The photo shows a view as seen from underneath 4th Street Bridge. At first, everything seems completely normal. That is, until we zoom into the center of the photo at the top of one of the arches of the bridge. Located dead in the center is what seems to be the shape of a human male wearing day glow shades. The man appears to stare right down, standing very still, looking at the photographers below. Some Reddit users saw a clear resemblance to 80s superstar wrestler Macho Man Randy Savage, who often wore sunglasses similar to the ones the figure is seen wearing. Others noted the figure's left arm looks strange and misshapen, resembling a mannequin's arm. The uploader said he didn't notice the man for 20 minutes or so, until the man approached him and his friend, offering to help them climb up the bridge arch for $10 each. The friends were creeped out since the man didn't make a sound for such a long time. So would you cough up a tenner to climb a random bridge with this man? Let me know down below. Old photos are fun to look at to see old school architecture, fashion and the way certain places used to look. One photo uploaded by Reddit user Angel with Pink Skirt shows all three, but with an added spooky bonus. There's a large group of adults posing together in front of a house in the black and white photo. In the back of the photo where we see the house, there's a figure of a blurry man right next to the window of the first floor. It seems that the strange figure is wearing a suit and hat, looking at the group of people from a distance. Blurry looking people or objects in photos can usually be explained by the long exposure of a camera. If a person moves, they'll look blurry in the photo, as the shutter of the camera captured their movement more slowly. It's nearly unanimously agreed that this is the case with this photo though the original poster never accepted nor denied this theory, leaving it up to the viewer's interpretation. Still, some felt a bad vibe from the photo, claiming that the translucent man is indeed a spirit of some kind, perhaps a former owner of the house looking to make an appearance in this old family photo. Before we take a look at an eerie figure captured on a trail cam, Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Go on, click that like button, do it, do it. Infrared trail cameras are popular for individuals living in the country who hope to capture wildlife on camera or become aware when a trespasser crosses their territory. Reddit user Paul X Hard's brother managed to capture something on his camera, but this time there was no easy explanation as to what it was. In the photo, we see the interior of a trailer, seemingly in a living room. Right in the center of the photo, we see a mysterious figure, all white, that resembles a man. The figure is blurry as if caught in movement and seems to be wearing a type of hat. The original poster explained that there were no footstep marks outside of his brother's trailer or tire tracks of any kind. He also emphasized that there was no reflection on the television next to the man, suggesting a potentially ghostly figure. Some commenters suggested that the figure could be a robber caught in movement or an unwanted visitor. To explain the lack of footsteps, users wrote that the man could have walked in the footsteps the brother had left behind when he walked away from the trailer, making this a possibility. Either way, this eerie figure remains a complete mystery. So what do you think? Intruder or something more paranormal? Love to get your take on this in the comments section below. If you want to see some more freaky photos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, this creepy playlist here will keep you entertained for hours and hours. 
Leave us a comment down below which one of these photos you thought was the weirdest or scariest. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.